Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger. I am an emergency physician and in this video, we're gonna talk about appendicitis in children. But first of all, what is the appendix? The appendix is a long, thin pouch shaped like a finger. It hangs down from the large intestine, also called the colon, and it's located around the right lower part of your belly. What is appendicitis? Appendicitis is the term that doctors use when the appendix gets infected and swells up. When that happens, the appendix can sometimes burst. A burst appendix is very serious because it can cause a bad infection or peritonitis of the abdomen. Appendicitis can happen in children and in adults. When it happens in children, it's more likely to affect older children and teenagers than babies or even younger children. What are the symptoms of appendicitis? Symptoms can be different depending on the child's age. The most common symptoms are the following. Belly pain or abdominal pain. In older children and teens, belly pain is usually the first symptom. The pain might start around the belly button and then move or migrate to the right lower abdomen. Children can also have belly pain that gets worse when they cough or when they hop or move. They can have vomiting, fever. Fever can often start for about one or two days before the abdominal pain. Loss of appetite or anorexia. Should your child see a doctor? Absolutely, you must call your child's doctor if your child has the symptom we described above. If your child does have appendicitis, it's important to get treatment as soon as possible. Will your child need any tests? Most likely, your child's doctor or nurse will first ask about the symptoms and do a physical exam. The doctor or nurse might be able to tell if your child has appendicitis without doing any tests. If the doctor can't tell for sure if your child has appendicitis, he or she might do one or more of the following tests. Blood tests to show an elevated Y count. Urine tests to make sure it's not a urinary tract infection. An imaging test such as an ultrasound or a CT scan. Imaging tests create pictures inside the abdomen. But no tests can say for sure if your ha child has or does not have appendicitis. But the doctor can use the test results, symptoms, exam, put it all together to figure it out how likely it is that your child has appendicitis. So, how is appendicitis treated? The main treatment for appendicitis is surgery. To remove the appendix, this surgery can be done two ways. Open surgery, during an open surgery, the doctor makes a cut in the belly near the appendix, then he or she removes the appendix through that opening. And then laparoscopic surgery. During laparoscopic surgery, the doctor makes a few cuts, much smaller, in the belly uh, throughout the abdomen. He then puts a long, thin tools into the belly through these openings. One of these tools is called a laparoscope or a camera on the one end which then sends pictures to a TV screen and the doctor can look at the image on the screen and know where to cut, where to remove, and where the appendix is. Then he uses the tools to do the surgery and cut it out and remove it. If your child's appendix has burst, the doctor will do surgery to remove the appendix. During the surgery, he or she will also clean out the area in the belly around the appendix to wash away the material that spilled out from the burst appendix. This surgery can be more complicated than the surgery uh, if it's done if the appendix has not burst. If it has been more than a few days since your child's appendix burst, your child might not have surgery right away. That's because the body sometimes forms a wall inside the belly to block off the area that became infected when the appendix burst. In cases like these, the doctor will first treat your child with antibiotics and watch him or her over time. He or she might take the appendix out once the antibiotics have made your child better or stick a needle in the walled off area to drain the infected fluid. This is done under imaging and guidance to just remove that fluid. After the doctor treats the infection in this manner, he or she might recommend that your child have surgery later on. Newer research has suggested 
that conservative treatment of appendicitis is also possible. That means no surgery. They might give antibiotics and fluids and bowel rest for a few days to cool off the infection. If your child does well, then they can always remove the appendix later or not at all. Sometimes they'll do it with IV antibiotics during a hospitalization and in some countries they even treat it by oral antibiotics in an outpatient setting. This is an option but not so popular here in the United States. For other videos like this video, please go to patienteducation.video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.